if I have 983 customers that are about to churn uh, in the next couple of weeks with about $98,000 in potential spend, uh, I want to do something with that. Hey guys, what's up? John from Second News here. Right now, everyone probably agrees that data is important as it can help you understand your customers better as well as measure the performance of your store uh, with key performance metrics that can move the needle. Yet not everyone has been able to take advantage of it. Why? The number one complaint I hear is that I can't make sense of my data to take action. When I was working at LinkedIn, we had hundreds of people just to make sense of data for our sales and marketing functions. The problem isn't you, it's the tools. If you're a brand owner wearing multiple hats or a growth marketer trying to gain an edge with data, Segments Analytics is for you. We built Segments to help answer your top questions and take action via 30 plus pre-built segmentations to address the top marketing use cases. No more data dumps and weeks trying to segment your customers. Just install segments with one click and access all the segmentations instantly. Then push and sync them to your marketing channels such as email and Facebook. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so let's say we know that from the lifecycle grid, which segments all of your customers by their number of orders as well as the lifecycle stages into active, at risk, and churned. If I have 983 customers that are about to churn uh, in the next couple of weeks with about $98,000 in potential spend, uh, I want to do something with that. And so I can scroll down to my playbooks and look at the at-risk one timers suggested playbook. Uh, and then I can enable sync and then start targeting them right away. To then also target them on Facebook and Google, uh, export the CSV and upload to Facebook and Google. Now let's say I want to look over all of my top segments. Uh, I can review all of them here uh, in my segments tab. And if I wanted to target, for example, uh, the people who are most likely to buy, most likely to churn, uh, I can directly sync just like I did. Uh, we can also look at the customer cohort uh, for new purchasers uh, each month, look at the number of orders, how much they have spent, and what does that revenue growth look like over months? Uh, what are their repeat purchases percentage-wise? And uh, what is my churn rate over those uh, same periods? I can also use the purchase timing to understand the key purchase cutoff points between uh, the first and second orders. Uh, and use that to anchor my marketing to improve marketing conversions. Next, I can also look at the customers, the new customers, uh, and their first product uh, in their order to understand which products are driving the most initial and repeat revenue by product uh, over the next six months of that customer's uh, purchase cycle. I can sort by the most customers, look at the products with the highest CLV, as well as the ones that are generating the most repeat. Okay, orders. so that's a quick overview of these key features and segments. Uh, I hope you give segments a try and I'll see you soon. Happy segmenting.